Well, this would be massive Superman legacy news. It appears James Gunn has indeed confirmed the villain for the upcoming movie, and not only that, giving us a big hint on which Guardians of the Galaxy actor has picked up the role. Let's take a couple minutes to break it down, talk about which actor it is, and the impact of having Brainiac as the big villain to kick off the DCU. Now before we do that though, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and ring that bell for all the updates. We do daily Marvel and DC videos and we want to be your place for all the superhero news, but we're going to bring it to you truthfully and transparently so you are really in the know. Well, James Gunn knows how to make a Saturday morning. Now, over the last couple of weeks, we've been talking a lot about Superman Legacy, and since the strike has ended, we started to get some clear direction for that project. There has been lots of casting news, and we've known for a while the Authority was going to serve as somewhat of an antagonist in the upcoming production, but rumors persisted Brainiac would be the main villain. Now, earlier today, James Gunn took to social media and seemed to confirm that with a very, very interesting post. So, let's not beat around the bush and go ahead and check that out. That's right, that is Superman facing off with Brainiac's bots. Now, this seems to match up with a plot leak that we've been hearing for a while, and although Gunn debunked part of it, the Middle Eastern storyline, he never once addressed Brainiac not being the villain. This is pretty big, and for me, it kind of serves as confirmation. Now, what's interesting though, is why Gunn would be talking about this right now. And if you looked over the past week, well, he gave us massive clues on who's being cast. Now, four days ago, we got a post on social media from James Gunn that showed Dave Batista sitting in his parking spot at Warner Brothers Studios. Now, right away, we all got to talking on who he could be playing. And for me, I knew it wasn't going to be a small role like a Steve Lombard, but it never occurred to me once that he could be taking up the role as Brainiac. Now, after Gunn posted this, there was another post of social media that showed Batista while reading a brand new script. Now, we're putting some speculation here because we're tying things together that haven't been confirmed, but all these things are not by accident. And we do know Gunn and Batista are really close. Gunn loves to continue to work with people he's worked with in the past. And he's made it super clear since day one, some of those Guardian actors were going to follow him into his new DCU. Now, as for Batista playing Brainiac, that's not one I put together at all. And honestly, I'm curious on where he goes. This is not Drax. But Brainiac does have, well, a coldness to him. And honestly, with the right script, I think Batista will bring the character to life in a pretty fun way. The more curious thing is how James Gunn is going to physically manifest the character. Will it be like James Spader playing Ultron where the character is fully CGI? Or will they go with a classic green-skinned version of Brainiac, giving him somewhat of a hybrid human body, at which point Batista probably would be a great and physically intimidating fit. Now, Gunn has yet to confirm this officially, but with all these posts, I think we could take this with not so much of a grain of salt. I look forward to Gunn making some kind of public announcement sometime soon, but until then, I think it's pretty clear to me, Dave Batista is our new Brainiac. 